are you looking for an ultimate tool to convert Exchange EDB files into PDF file format easily? We bring you the perfect solution with SysTools Exchange EDB to PDF converter. Now let's check out the main features of this tool. Convert emails from multiple mailboxes to PDF in batch. Create a searchable PDF file after EDB to PDF conversion. An Exchange server environment is not needed to convert EDB to PDF. Supports converting corrupt Exchange EDB files into PDF format. Now let's check out the prerequisites before installing the software. Please launch the tool as run as administrator if you are using these windows. Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 and above. 4 GB RAM is required and 100 MB of disk space. Now let's install and run the tool to check its working process. Here you can see the software comes with a simple and user friendly interface. Here you can choose Add File button to start adding EDB files. Now a small dialog box opens. Here you have two options to browse your EDB files select File option and Search File option. You can pick any of them as per your requirement. Now let's choose the Select File option in our example and continue with the conversion process. Choose the Select File button and Browse the desired EDB file from your system. Then click the Open button. Now select the STM file if applicable. Check the Remove Encryption option to remove SMIME or Open PGP type encryption. Now let's check the Scanning Modes. Quick Scan Mode use this option if the file has minimum corruption. The next is an Advanced Scan option. Use this if the file is highly corrupted. After making the desired options, then click the Add button to proceed further. Now a small window appears. You can click Yes to load any previously scanned files or else click No to proceed. Here you can see the live scanning process. In the next window, on the left side of the screen, you will find the folder lists. Click any desired folder to load its data on right side menu pane. Select any file to preview its details. And below you can see multiple mail view options. By default, normal mail view tab is selected. You can view the mail details such as path from to CC etc. Second is hex tab. In this section you can view emails in hex format. Third tab is properties tab. You can view properties of an email like attachments details, name etc. Fourth is message header tab to view header details. Like to, from, delivery date etc. Fifth is mime tab to preview MIME version and other details. Sixth is HTML tab, to preview the HTML detail. Next is RTF tab, to view the text information of an email. Last is Attachment tab, to view the attachment of an email's. You can also check the Switch view option, to view your file's horizontal or vertical view. You can pick any of them, as per your requirement. Now choose the files, you want to export, by selecting the checkbox option. Then right-click and select the Export button. In this window, you can see multiple exporting options like PST, PDF, MBOX, EML, MSG, HTML. Now let's check out the main export option. You can select the Export button on the top navigation menu. Now you can select the required folders or all folders as per your requirement for exporting process. On the right side, you can see multiple export type options. Now select the PDF radio button from exporting options. Clicking advanced settings will open another window with advanced PDF settings. Naming convention, you can select the naming convention for the final converted files such as subject, subject plus date, etc. Next is the categories option to mark and unmark the categories whom you want to export. And then below you can see date filter options in order to filter mails according to certain date range. Include internet message header to add header information of each email message in the resultant PDF file created. The page layout option further lets you adjust the margins and lets you set paper orientation and page size. The last is Bates number option lets you choose Bates number format and date stamp option and the date format options as well. After making the desired selections, then hit the Save button below to proceed further. Now click the Browse button to choose a destination folder to save the output files.
After selecting a folder then click OK button. Below you can see the maintain folder hierarchy and ignore system folders options are selected by default. Click the hyperlink to know more. Now hit the export button to initiate the exporting process. After the process completes successfully then click OK. Now export report window appears with further details. Click the save button to save the export report in CSV file format. Now let's check out the output files. Here you can see the export report in CSV file format. Open the destination folder in which you have saved the output files and here you can see the output PDF files. And that's it, hope you enjoy the video. Log on to the given product page. For more details on purchasing the product. For any query, mail us at support at the rate Thank you for watching.